Hi friends, welcome back to our Stem Up class. Today we will be making lemon volcanoes. So what you'll need for this project is a lemon, of course, um, a popsicle stick, a knife, some baking soda, and some um, dish soap is optional if you wanna make it extra bubbly. So to begin, we're going to cut one end of our lemon off, and depending on your cutting skills, you may need a parent to help you with this part. And we're going to cut it to where it's flat, but we don't want to pierce through the lemon. We still want you know, it to be intact so the, the liquid doesn't seep out the bottom. And then on the top, we're going to cut it out even more, and this time we do want to pierce it. So I'm gonna cut more out of that one. Something like that, and then the bottom will be like that. So then you set your lemon down, and then next we're going to take our um, popsicle stick. Well, actually, first let's roll the lemon a little bit. You might want to do that first so that you don't squeeze it all out to get the juices flowing. So roll it around a bit, kind of squish it up in there. And then we're going to take our popsicle stick and squish it even more. So try not to pierce the bottom, but we're wanting to get all the liquid flowing. So just make it all mushy inside. Just squish and squash so that it releases all the juices. We can scrape along the sides. Try not to let a whole bunch of juice fly out, but it might get a little bit messy, but it's gonna smell good. And then here, if you want, you can put some just soap in there so it'll be extra bubbly. You can stir that up. And if you wanted to, you could even add some food coloring to make, <clears throat> excuse me, to make it colorful, which would be really fun. And so next you're going to add about a teaspoon of baking powder. I don't have an actual teaspoon, so I'm just gonna kind of guess and we'll see what happens. And then it starts to bubble up. So we might want to squish it a little bit more. It seems like maybe there's not quite enough lemon juice flowing, but there it goes. And it starts to overflow like a volcano. The more juice you get going, the more it flows. And so you can redo this, whoops, by getting another lemon and then pouring even more lemon juice in there. And then some more baking soda and see what happens. So let us know how your lemon volcanoes go. Thanks guys.